Welcome back. In the spirit of our conversation this month about starting the year doing good, I am excited to introduce our next guest. Tom Fishman is the CEO of Starts With Us. And Starts With Us is a movement. It's a movement that is addressing the fact that if we learned anything in 2022, it's that divided is not better. And the more we can come together, under whatever umbrella that looks like, the more we can actually build and grow and, and do better in our own worlds. So Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Lauren, thanks so much for having me. I'm really excited to uh, talk to you about Starts With Us today. It's a pleasure. Now tell me tell me a little bit about Starts With Us, but we also wanna know about you and what brought you to Starts With Us. Yeah, so we'll, let's, let's go in that order. I think that's a good order. So uh, just like you said, Starts With Us, is a movement uh, that our mission is to empower tens of millions of Americans to overcome the extreme political and cultural divisions that feel like they're tearing apart our communities from our families all the way to our society and our country. And we're trying to do that by fostering more independent thinking versus tribal loyalty to any particular party or ideology and ultimately to foster more constructive and cooperative dialogue across lines of difference. We believe that our differences in this country and our ability to stay at the table and forge solutions together, even when it's hard and even when we disagree, is a uniquely American form of strength and grit. And we're looking to recapture that after it feels like we've lost it a bit over the last many years. It does feel like we've lost it. And and in on the political side, yes, we can we can point to things very specifically, but just in the realm of communication in general, and as you said, there's new divides between families, between friends, between businesses, political affiliations. I mean, it's really kind of come out from under the rocks. It feels like it really hit us hard in 2022 and starts with us started right in early 2022. Is that right? We, we launched uh, in December of 2021, December 8th, so we're just a bit over a year old now. Um, feels like no time and forever all at once. I'm sure you know that feeling. But yeah, it's something about this past year and the preceding several years, uh, you know, it feels like something new and uh, more dangerous, uh, higher stakes is happening and continues to happen. Mm -hmm. We feel it in our individual communities and families. We see it out in the news. And that's sort of the key is what we do see in the news. And in particular, in our news media, our social media, we know that that is a big part of everyone's lens on the world today. It has a really deep effect on what we think and how we think. And left unchecked, we've seen you know these um, companies, tech companies, news entities build power and profit and uh, sort of um, influence by fear mongering. So what starts with us attempts to do, and this is a you know a little bit of a window into why I'm here, we're trying to use those channels, the ones that left unchecked can cause problems, uh, like social media and storytelling and technology. We're trying to use these very modern uh, techniques and apps and uh, you know um, tools that we have to spread the message to tens of millions of people. Uh, it's, a, it's a unique uh, approach in what we call the bridge building space, which has many really uh, interesting and powerful players. Uh, what starts with us is trying to do is find our community and build our community through that storytelling and technological communities, leverage those and harness those forces um, that can bring us together. And that's where I come from and my own uh, experience in my career. I've been in media and technology for a long time. Yeah, I understand. You actually have a background in physics, which is really all about problem solving, isn't it? Yeah, I, I love that that's where you went first. So that's even before media technology. I was, um, uh, yeah, I studied physics um, through the graduate level. And people often ask me, well, what does one thing have to do with the other? And one thing about physics, you learn to take really big, thorny, hairy problems and break them down into solvable elements and into elements that we can um, that, that we can tackle. And it's a big part of how we think about these challenges. We know there are systemic challenges in our politics, systemic challenges in our media from the way that government is structured and from the way that um, media is sort of 
incentivized to draw attention and and sort of um, that that can uh, that that can lead to sort of that fear mongering and that outrage cycle. So we know that those systems are out there, um, but in true physics fashion, breaking that down to the simplest forms of the problem, that's where we came up with it starts with us. Mm -hmm. This is what we control is how we show up in the world every day from what we do online to how we act in the grocery store to a school board meeting to uh, the way we treat our flight attendants on an airplane to oh, goodness, uh, yes. right, the way that we think about our fellow citizens more broadly. That is the most fundamental part of the problem is what we control. So in a way, Starts With Us starts out as an accountability project. Nobody thinks they're a part of the problem. And I'm, I'm me foremost among them, right? We walk around thinking it's someone else's problem. They're the ones who are polarized. They're the ones who are sheep. They're the ones who are looking at the wrong news. If we all look in the mirror and say, what can I do? How can I show up differently in a way that, in my own small way, in a way that uh, affects my community? We do that and we have millions and tens of millions of people showing that personal accountability. We can create real social change. So in that in that spirit of real social change, I know it requires kind of a willingness to address certain things. And you guys talk about curiosity and compassion and a willingness to change, really a capacity for change. And you've got hundreds, if not thousands, of um, names behind you, people who really, from different, from across the aisle, from different positions in every aspect of their lives, but everybody does kind of understand that without conversation, without clear communication, and that's what I believe social media has done, is it's given us each our own silo, and we are able to listen only to ourselves basically over and over and over again. But these people who we might know and, and might be willing to listen to are taking a different tact. So tell us how it's actually working. That's right. And, and I just wanna say it's, it's, it's not only in our social media and in our communities are we now kind of habitually filtering into only groups that we agree with, we also are only seeing the most extreme versions of what other people believe. <laughs> So that, that creates a, a very unhealthy kind of funhouse mirror view on what society really looks like. So we are, to your point about our community, we're very excited and really lucky. We're, uh, you know, in year one, have just crossed uh, a, a, a million uh, followers across our digital social media, our email. So we're, we're really excited to see that. And it's a very pluralistic, um, nonpartisan community. We have people from the left, the right, the center, uh, which is which is great uh, in our in our broader community, and we have an incredible and iconic set of movement partners and and founding partners that includes great humanitarians from Dr. Bernice King, Martin Luther King's daughter, to uh, the great sort of renowned chef and humanitarian Jose Andres. Uh, we have great um, right of center thinkers like Arthur Brooks. Uh, who, who writes for The Atlantic, uh, amongst other places, and Brian Hooks, who works for Stand Together, uh, a great organization that's seeking to bridge divides in America. Entertainers like Alan Alda and Jason Alexander have come aboard to, um, to help power our movement. Academics like Adam Grant, athletes like Kelvin Beecham and Dahani Jones, business people like Mark Cuban, um, great thinkers like Krista Tippett, who you might know from On Being and NPR, all the way to Ryan Holiday, who leads the, uh, the Stoic movement and has written many great books um, about that. So that's, uh, I'm not even doing the list justice. We have 200 partners of that incredible caliber broadly distributed across demographic, uh, across ideolo uh, ideology and belief systems. And in that uh, in that great community who helps us influence how we, uh, we develop content, how we create experiences that bring a great broad big tent group of Americans in who say, listen, we might be deeply divided by our beliefs on issues, but we are united by curiosity, compassion, and courage, by the bravery to stay at the table with people with whom we disagree, to treat them with respect, even when it's hard. And even if we'll never agree on it, listen, these issues are really important. When we're talking about voting rights, when we're talking about things like ab abortion and things like um, immigration and things like school curricula, these are very, very, passion is good. Belief is good insofar as we don't allow our differences to cause us to dehumanize each other, to say, oh, you believe that? You shouldn't be in this country or I don't care if violence happens to you. Not acceptable. 
we're at our strongest when we're at our toughest. And that's, I think, a very, again, uniquely form of American, uh, that combination of American heart and American grit. So we're looking to create that community and our movement partners are a great example of people who do that every day. That's it's amazing and it's exciting and your passion shines through. And what I really want to know now is how can our viewers get involved or what can they do? Where can they find more information? What do you need from us? So all we ask people to do when they're joining the Starts With Us movement is to strive to practice those three C's every day, curiosity, compassion, and courage. If you go to startswith.us slash join, you can sign up. You'll hear from us on email once a week, and you'll join a community and a movement of people who are striving to practice those three C's every day, trying to practice them as daily habits. And you'll get from us stories, tips, inspiration, things from our partners, things that we're creating. We're trying to give people the tools to practice those three C's every day and to spread the movement. We believe that if we can get it starts with us and if we can, and it ripples outwards. And if we can get to millions and tens of millions of people, then we can start to hold those systems accountable to the beliefs that we, the people, 87% of us who are in that middle, who might be divided by beliefs on issues, but are united by these values, we can then create the sort of social norm and social change we want to see in the world. So that's starts with dot us slash join. Super. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. I am excited for our viewers to learn more about Starts With Us and certainly look forward to them reaching out to you and getting involved. I look forward to hearing from you again. I know that just a million followers is just the beginning for you guys. Uh, thanks so much, Lauren. Such a pleasure and uh, thanks for having me. We'll see you again and we'll be right back.